मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विजय ठाकुर सीनियर वैस्कुलर सर्जन प्रैक्टिसिंग एट बड़ोदा फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर सम इन्फॉर्मेशन विथ यू विच विल बी यूजफुल टू द सोसाइटी बाय एंड लार्ज आई विल टॉक टू यू टूडे अबाउट पेरीफेल वैस्कुलर डिसीज वॉट इज पेरीफेल वैस्कुलर डिसीज पेरीफेल वैस्कुलर डिसीज मीन्स डिसीज ऑफ vascular leg disease of blood vessels in the body other than heart it is also known as peripheral artery disease peripheral artery disease means in this disease process blood vessels get narrowed gradually and they get occluded thereby various parts of body get deprived of normal blood supply that means lack of blood supply to legs or other part of of the body is known as peripheral vascular disease why peripheral artery disease occurs peripheral artery disease as i say is narrowing or occlusion of blood vessel it occurs because of a deposition of fat in a cholesterol complex thereby narrowing blood vessels this process is also known as atherosclerosis who are at risk of developing peripheral vascular disease people who smoke people who have diabetes hypertension heart disease or cholesterol abnormalities are at a higher risk of developing peripheral vascular disease what are the symptoms of peripheral vascular disease leg cramps or leg pain is the most common symptom of peripheral vascular disease involving leg arteries to begin with pain starts as a cloudy cushion pain means person would get pain after walking certain distance and that pain will get relieved on taking rest for for a while for a few minutes pain also reappears when he starts walking the same amount of distance this is known as cloudy cushion pain if you do not treat this patients at this point of time this is my progress and patients might develop symptom called rest pain which is a severe pain persistent pain especially occurring at night which is which does not get relief of any kind of pain killers if this is still progress is further and if you cannot treat them correctly rest pain might worsen to become a non healing ulcer means a small ulcer occurring over foot which will refuse to heal despite adequate medical management of 2 to 4 weeks time if it still further progress is further it might land up into gangrene of toes foot or a leg so it's our sincere appeal to the community by and large that if you are at risk of developing peripheral vascular disease then you should consult vascular surgeon as soon as possible to prevent such catastrophic events in your life